Hey guys, this is the Kronos Ring. This is a bullet time array consisting of 48 Kronos 1.4 high speed cameras. As far as I can tell, this is a world's first. No one has done anything like this before. This thing produces some absolutely amazing shots with the, the video orbiting around from different cameras in sequence. So I'll give you a quick demo of what we've been able to do so far, and then go over the construction of the ring and how it operates.
So those were some amazing shots, weren't they? I bet you haven't seen anything like that before. So this project has been sort of a, an advertising or promotional project for the a trade show we're going to, National Association of Broadcasters. That's actually coming up in about two weeks. So we've been scrambling to uh, get this whole thing ready. Uh, we actually have to pack it up into this crate uh, today to be shipped out tomorrow. So this whole project pretty much started as an advertisement or promotional project for our upcoming product release, uh, Kronos 2.1 HD. This is a 1080p 1000 high-speed camera. Here's a bit of demo footage uh, here. And click on the card up on the top of the screen if you want to see more details and a teardown of uh, this camera. The ring itself is constructed actually quite simply. It's uh, just based off of the standard triangular truss from Global Truss. These are all off-the-shelf parts. We didn't have to do any modifications. The cameras are mounted to uh, standard tripod heads. These are on Mafer super clamps to hold them to the truss. Beyond the cameras, there's a couple other things. There's some lights mounted in the center. There's also another pole that we don't have installed right now that has an extremely bright light that would go just above the table that was here for the really high frame rate shots. And on the top of the ring, there are four power distribution, power and trigger distribution boxes and ethernet switches to connect all of the cameras together and power them all. These boxes have a few functions. They provide power to all the cameras are connected to, all 12 in each of the four quadrants. They take uh, trigger input from a uh, signal generator, in this case, actually just another Kronos camera, and buffer it and distribute it to all of the cameras. Uh, below that is a uh, Microtik gigabit switch. Uh, this has a, a gigabit links to each camera, a 10 gigabit fiber uplink that goes off to the server for saving video. And the power distribution box also powers this switch. In the power and trigger distribution box, there's a 600 watt, 20 volt mean well power supply that powers all the cameras. That connects to a board here. This has some op amp buffers on it that buffer the trigger signals. Power supply to run an optional uh, Teensy, I think it is. And yeah, this fuses for all of the output so you don't burn up any cables if there are any shorts. As I said earlier, we're under a lot of time pressure here, so everything is kind of lashed together. The operator station uh, has room for a laptop. There's a this is the timing generator camera. This is basically just used to generate the timing output that feeds all of the uh, amplifier boxes that feed the timing signals to all the cameras. Uh, one of the cameras is hooked up to an HDMI monitor so we can get a live view of what's going on. And please excuse the horrible abuse of these fibers. They are running over to some switches that go over to the main network and a storage server that has a very large SSD to handle the massive amounts of data that come off. Every second of recording on this generates about 200 gigabytes of raw data. So it's actually a lot of dealing with that is a lot of uh, effort and requires a lot of planning. In the demo shots earlier, you saw several different record modes. There is the normal orbiting record mode where each camera takes an exposure slightly delayed from the last. Like, for example, at full resolution, uh, you delay them each by just over 20 microseconds. So by the time each camera is taking a picture all the way around, the first camera has finished its readout and is ready to take another. So the orbiting just continues continuously around the ring. The other record mode, you, mode you've seen is all the cameras taking pictures simultaneously. And this allows you to, you don't get the, the, you don't get the frame rate boost, but you do get the ability to select uh, any angle to view your high speed shot from. So you can arbitrarily choose spatial and t temporal resolution individually. It's a little bit jittery if you see here to, as you start and stop, but with some interpolation and potentially with doubling the number of cameras, it should be possible to get very, very smooth starts and stops, which is something I've never seen before outside of CGI. We've only just begun to scratch the surface of what's possible with this array, so if you have ideas for interesting shots you'd like to see taken, absolutely please let us know. And if you want to either come here and film, or rent one of these, or even buy one, that is definitely a possibility. We've actually already sold an array of about this size to a uh, researcher. So there is definitely interest in uh, products like this. So we're going to be developing the control software uh, better to, uh, to allow much more user-friendly control than we currently have. In terms of the editing and, and control due to the time constraints, I'm gonna have to make that a separate video, I'm sorry, but I will get that out after the trade show. Anyway, I hope you found this video on the Kronos Ring interesting. 
Thanks for watching.